New Orleans is just one of those places that you either love or you hate. You know, it's it's kind of like cilantro in that way. If people either literally love it or they hate it. Like, I was talking to people before I went there and it astonished me how many people were like, so one way or the other, there was just no middle ground. It was like, oh, I love it. Like, I want to go back 50,000 times. I go every single year. Or it was like, no, like, this, it's dirty and it's loud and it's like what like I just I don't know I didn't know what to expect because people were so one way or the other but I literally loved it like absolutely loved that fucking city it is just so full of like food and music and art and culture and the diversity of the city is woven into every nook and cranny of all of it it's honestly just such a freeing city it's like one of those places where the unexpected becomes expected and it's just such a fun atmosphere to be in. And it's beautiful, like the weather there is beautiful, the architecture is beautiful, the vegetation is, like it is so unlike anything else that I'd ever seen. And the people there truly live every single day like it's a freaking party and like every single night is a celebration. Like there is no end to it and I loved it, ate it up. <laughs> The main reason I was in New Orleans is because it was my best friend Ash's 30th birthday and she's just the type of person that literally feels like a warm hug. Like you know those people in your life when you're with them and it's literally as if there's like this milky golden divine light that just fills the room. I can't even explain that feeling of just like being so seen and loved by somebody and that is the energy she brings everywhere with her.
We met at the Cancun airport and I will never forget the like ease that just fell over my body when I saw her. I was like, okay, I am in good hands, like all is well. I'm so, so deeply grateful to have her in my life. It is an honor, honestly. I had my first ever Friendsgiving in New Orleans and I am so sorry to my family, but there is basically no way anyone is gonna convince me to do Thanksgiving any other way with this. Kayla and Lauren went out of their way to make a fully vegan dinner and it was like 10,000% the best Thanksgiving meal I've ever had and probably some of the best food I've ever had in my life. You know when people say that you can like, you can taste when someone cooks with love? That meal embodied that like beyond what I knew and had experienced before. I like, the fact that they went out of their way to meet everybody's dietary restrictions is obviously amazing, but on top of that, like genuinely just like art. Like it, I have never, looked at a Thanksgiving meal and ever been excited in the way that I was for this meal like and it just getting to watch them all day like literally going to town in the kitchen and like their dynamic of the way they like played together as they're like creating this beautiful like symphony of food I was just it was such a fun process to watch and then getting to see Kayla do the entire tablescape and just really bring this vision to life. Um, and then to get to get like genuinely consume it, not only visually, but I got to eat that shit. And it was amazing, unlike anything else. Yes. I also ate like three other people's plates of leftovers. <laughs> and I think even maybe like more sweet potatoes, like the all the leftover sweet potatoes fucking crushed all those. And then I got home and tried to remake them and burnt them all, so. It's not for me. The cooking is not for me. I'm really glad I went into New Orleans with very little expectation. Like I, I didn't really have, I'd never been to somewhere in the South at all. Um, so I didn't really know kind of what I was getting into, but it was genuinely such a beautiful city and just beautiful people. And I feel like it's one of those cities where there's still like, a lot of like light and community left, you know? It isn't just all corporatized. And I don't know, I mean, I obviously can't speak to, you know, what living in New Orleans is like, but just being there for a brief period of time, I was like, this seems like a, a city where people are like truly happy, you know? Um, and I don't feel like every city you visit radiates that, at least in my experience so far. New Orleans is absolutely a city that I will be returning to. Um, I could definitely see it being a spot I want to visit every few years. And I know that everybody's like, you know, it's known for Mardi Gras, but I would love to go there for Halloween. I feel like that city would come alive in such a unique way, like unlike anywhere else probably for that time of year. And I would just be such a fucking sight to see. Um, and I just feel like energetically it would be so amazing. I also would honestly really like to dig a lot more into the history. Like you can definitely feel the weight of the energy when you're there. Um, but I feel like I, I would really love to dig into just more of the history and what made that city, you know, what it is today. Uh, cause it is something so special, honestly. Also a gator tour. We woke up too late to go on the gator tour that we had planned and I would love to do a gator tour next time I'm there. And even just maybe like see more of the state. Um, I don't know how much more there is to like really see, but I like the swamp kind of vibes. I'm here for that. I, I you know, I, I, wanna, I wanna get my Shrek on. What is it they call the swamp something there? The bayou, that's what the term is. Yeah, I wanna see the bayou. In Louisiana, people often refer to the swamps by the term bayou. Bayou is a slow moving stream or body of water often associated with marshy or swampy regions. The term bayou is deeply rooted in the culture and geography of Louisiana and is commonly used to describe the distinctive wetland areas in the state. 
Additionally, people may refer to these areas as swamps or other regional terms. Uh, yeah, no, I want to see the bayou. Going back for the bayou, a history lesson, and to wear a fun costume. Also, I want to show you some of the film that I shot while I was there.